Hello, my name is Leroy New. I'm uh, originally from Jana Santa City. Uh, currently, I'm an artist designer based in Manila. According to my parents, as soon as I knew how to pick up a pen and write on a piece of paper, I never stopped. My parents were very supportive. My dad would bring home these huge blank pieces of paper from his work and I would just draw continuously like page after page, different versions of monsters that I would come up with. In General Santa City, there weren't any art platforms that I could, you know, be exposed to. All I ever saw were the few Mabini-type art uh, paintings that were hung in our small malls in General Santa City at that time. But those were the works that inspired me back then. And uh, I would replicate those thinking that that was all that art was. I was lucky enough to uh, pass the the auditions for Philippine High School for the Arts. So I guess that was my first formal arts training. And for someone from you know the south of the Philippines in a kind of conservative uh, uh, background, you know, it was very much a culture shock experience. So it led me to you know uh, be able to view myself, my upbringing in a different light from, with a certain distance and uh, seeing my professors, my art instructors doing all sorts of crazy work that wasn't like the paintings that I saw in General Santa City and that led me to believe that's really no restriction or limitation to creative expression and from that time on, I wanted to try so many ways of exploring my creative production. The piece that I made for the MADE competition back in 2005 uh, was called Cradle and it's a sawdust sculpture which I learned from a mentor of mine back in art high school, Roberto Fileo, who does a lot of uh, sawdust sculptures. It was a uh, way for him to have his students do sculpture that was cost efficient. I mean, sawdust was basically free. And then you get adhesive and mix it with the, with the sawdust to create like a paste which hardens and resembles something like wood again after, after it cures. It allowed for very intricate forms I found and I'm partial to natural forms, probably because of the setting in Philippine High School. You know, we, we were used to using a lot of natural materials that we would source from the forest, like twigs, dried leaves, and all that. When I want to source materials, I tend to move away from traditional art materials. I felt it was necessary for me to actually go where people source their material surplus and I get a lot of inspiration from how urban Filipinos who you know tend to not throw things away. They transform anything they can get their hands on into decor or some other functional object. So I get a lot of uh, inspiration from the ingenuity with how they transform these very common objects into you know something else. My current practice is my way of responding to the world, my way of actively um, contributing to the development of my landscape. I make it uh, a kind of a vehicle for getting to know other specialists through collaboration. I've worked with uh, urban designers, directors, film directors, industrial designers, and uh, for me, this is my way of educating myself further, harnessing my, my creative practice to be able to learn different 
uh, systems that, that operate in the world. I would have unsolicited advice where you know, people would suggest that I stick to just one thing because it's easier for them to sell me the idea of me. Good thing I didn't listen and I started, I mean, I kept at you know, collaborating with different specialists. It doesn't start out as something commercially viable from the start, but you just have to trust in what you you know what you feel you have to do and uh, yeah eventually you will find uh, a, a platform for yourself and uh, people who respond to your work will find you i feel more excited doing work in different terrains in different locations the challenge of you know, the natural landscape or the urban environment. I kind of added excitement to the work that I do. I've uh, tried to explore a lot of site-specific uh, projects, which allowed me to uh, actively negotiate with the uh, community directly, with the gatekeepers of these spaces. You know, I, it allowed me to be more social, you know, to be able to uh, convince and present work to people who are who don't normally go to museums and galleries to enlighten themselves. It's it's a fun challenge to be able to move, you know, directly in those spaces that are inhabited by other people, and where you can actually have some kind of uh, you know impact to the people that reside in that community, in those spaces. Artists and you know. Creative practitioners in general have value because they can offer alternatives. Creative practices uh, have the potential to transform the way we live, to transform the way we engage with one another. And as an artist, I desire to see our country move forward, you know, as a whole, towards progressive ideals that is inclusive and informed about, you know, the rights of everyone and I hope artists all over contribute in the struggle to this like uh, I hope we all see our practice as something that can uplift spirits and open minds and bring together uh, different opinions for the you know the betterment of society and you know, everyone <laughs>